Hey, this is Dr. Bob here, Proactive Wellness and Injury Center, and in this video, I want to specifically speak to you if you have, uh, if you experience bloating, gas, indigestion, nausea, heartburn, agita, acid reflux, whatever you might call it, and you're continually dismissing that as just a, a, a nuisance rather than a problem. And look. Um, you don't want to ignore it any longer because if you allow it to continue, if you allow it to continue, it is definitely going to develop into something much more serious and it, it can frankly become life threatening. So it's not anything that you want to dismiss because your body's speaking to you. It's letting you know that it's under duress. It's having a, it has a problem that has to be corrected. Your body has been fearfully and wonderfully made. And a lot of times it's because of our our, um, our dismissing things, our, our suppressing things, our ignoring things when the body is in distress that we end up with a, a much more severe problem. Had we only listened earlier on and taken care of it, we'd be much, much better off. Well, anyway, um, getting back to your digestive issues, you know, a lot of people uh, incorrectly think that the body runs on proteins and carbohydrates and fats, and really it doesn't. It runs on glucose, amino acids, fatty acids, and so on. So that means that the body has to take the proteins, the carbo carbohydrates, and the fats and break them down into smaller components. So what happens is it has to take the proteins and separate them and, and uh and uh, into amino acids. It takes the carbohydrates that you eat and it creates glucose. It takes the fats and it, it again, it, it makes the fatty acids. So if that's not happening, then you're not getting the nutrients from your food. And look, what will happen is this. If the body can't break down the proteins into the amino acids, then I, I assure you, you're going to develop arthritis. I mean, you name it, it's going to develop arthritis. If it doesn't break down the carbohydrates into glucose, you're going to become a diabetic. If it doesn't break down the fats into fatty acids, then invariably you're going to develop some kind of heart disease or circulatory problem. If it doesn't break down the the um, the the red meats that you're eating, or the fish, or the the lobster, or the shellfish, whatever it might be, or the pork, then you're going to develop gout. That's the way it's going to be. Uh, that's what happens if you if your body isn't isn't digesting the foods properly because indigestion is the non-digestion of food. You understand that, right? If you're having indigestion, then the body isn't digesting the foods that you're eating. And indigestion, as I said a few moments ago, it's a warning signal that your body is flashing and letting you know there's a problem, there's a problem, there's a problem. Now, disease happens when digestion doesn't happen. Let me repeat that. Disease happens when digestion doesn't happen. Disease is one of the paramount functions of, uh, uh, not di disease, but digestion is one of the paramount functions of the body. So if that's not occurring properly, then the whole body is suffering. If you affect one member, one function of the body, then the whole body suffers. You understand that? Good. Because we don't want you to develop gout or heart disease or or uh, diabetes, or whatever it might be, if we look back upstream far enough, we're going to see that it, it was initially the result of the body's inability to digest the foods that the person was eating. And look, even though you're spending all of your hard-earned money on organic or clean food or non-GMO or natural, whatever the label is, if, you're, if your body isn't digesting it, then you're not getting the benefit from it. Your body is becoming malnourished because you're not, you're not breaking the foods down into the small um, components that the body needs that we, it will absorb and to, to fuel itself because the body uh, fuels itself on the cellular level on the cellular level. And if your food isn't broken down into those things, then uh, you're not getting the nutrients from the food. Okay? That's why I am adamant as a doctor for all, for most of my patients, I won't say all, but most of my patients coming in, I strongly encourage them to take advantage of a digestive 
um, compound that we use here in the office to ensure that they that all of the other treatment that they're getting, all of the other nutritional advice I'm giving, or all of the supplements that, that we might suggest they take are being utilized efficiently and effectively by their body. Because what's it going to profit them if they're spending all of this money uh, on these expensive nutrients, on this expensive food, on these expensive supplements or whatever, and their body is not digesting it, breaking it down, and utilizing it, right? Right. So that's just a little caveat that I wanted to share with you. And look, if you are one who's experiencing those, those uh, symptoms that I shared earlier on in this video, look, you need some help. You need to listen to what your body's saying, and you need to correct the problem that apparently is going on in your body. And if you need some help with that, feel free to contact us. That's what we're here for, okay? Because we want you to enjoy the best performance of your life. So again, thanks for listening. Until the next video, and as always, God bless.